What's up, guys? It's Trickster Two City here, bringing you Celine, which uh, an artsy game created by uh, like, uh, God damn it! Why do you keep forgetting the developers' names? Now it's just what the fuck. Um. Anyways, so this game I just figured uh, I just found on Game Joke recently, and um, along with Mini Law, which was a game I recorded like um, a few minutes ago. Uh, but yeah. This game, basically, um, it's about an ancient city. An ancient city that goes to Earth for like once a month and like, you know, goes back to the moon. Like, it's either we're sunken in deep underwater or we're at the moon. So, or technically at a moon or something, uh, which shows an inhabited city. So, there will be these paintings and I'll give my interpretation on what the story is. So... Um, from um, last recording of this, I fucked it up and I didn't have any um, audio for it. So basically, I fucked up and I didn't like record my audio. So fucking goddamn it. So yeah. So I my interpretation is that this is the Egyptian goddess of justice because last time I saw like a bunch of Egyptian gods and therefore um, it must relate to Egyptian mythology. And yeah. So. Uh, okay, so I think I should get to that shiny platform over there. Okay, shifts my sprint, space my jump, okay. So, okay, there's like a fountain with a bunch of scales everywhere. Yeah, get out. Um, in old ancient mythology, you basically need to be goddamn rich in order to get to, uh, to heaven. But after what, um, uh, in certain statutes of mythology, what certain statutes of mythology did, now it's no longer the case. It's just good works all around. Thank you, Horus. Um, but technically, uh, yeah, this is an underground, it, technically this is a lost city. You're exploring a lost city and it's fucking amazing. Um, okay, so there's this Egyptian god here. My, uh, my estimate is that it's the sun god Ra. Because of the sun blocking out and all that. Um, yeah. So, this game. What's it all about? Well, that's just it. You explore an ancient city. That's it. <laughs> you really don't do anything other than explore an ancient city. And I'll get to that place later. But for now, let's just look at how awesome this game looks. And how, the, and how grand this music feels like. My god, this is a place that mm, exudes, exudes atmosphere. And considering what the game's all about, it kind of relies on that. It kind of needs this atmosphere. More games have to be like this, relaxing, just, you know, nothing to do around, you know. Just traveling. And they're mixing it with some Greek mythology in there because centaurs and all that shit. Or is it another Egyptian god, but fuck it, whatever. I, I don't fucking care to know who. Okay, so last time I read all of this. But, um, I didn't read all of this, but, um, like, it, like, last recording, and I fucked it up. So let me just read it again, because, hey, hey, I'd like to, um, basically read waxing poetic, you know? Mm. The moon shine for no one here. They mark no time and join the night as fish into water. They don't mind the occasional visit, but the inner city is still at your arrival, a lonely rock crumbling in darkness. What cold place is this, flatlands ebbing with salt spray, your shoes powdered with foam? The horizon flies to catch the sun. It's no accident that Celine burns itself in the blue dark. The city waxes, eggs smooth in the cratered ground. Which let me just uh, let me just um go off on a tangent here. But eggs smooth, like I have, like, I love how this is eggs smooth. Like I only know smooth like butter, or smooth like jelly, and all that. But you know, smooth talker. But eggs smooth, that's that's a thing, huh? From the cratered ground, building by building, it takes a month to fully bloom. Towers hunkered like candles against the night. Lamps scattered are like stars among the windows. Pale and spectral by day, nocturnal serene and wakens to pearl from the dusky ocean. Resplendent and whole for one night before its gradual descent back into land unseen. 
Poets name gods, astronomers magnify the sky, catalog stars. The moon blinks a path around Earth like a great eye and beyond. Distant planets gather their own satellites. Alien, uh, alien moons are crumbs in a telescope lens. They can sweep from view in the turn of a glow, disappear into space like comets. Astronomers check their charts. Hypothetical is the world reserved for celestial vanishings. Missing moons leave behind empty coordinates and names borrowed from myth. They quit their host planets and retire to Saloon. My god! Like... Ah, uh, the music that accompanies this is reading it. Makes me feel like somebody's doing a dramatic reading of like a work, a literary work by some random dude, I don't know. But, um, okay, so let's go to head to our goal of the game. And by the way, the cube looks huge. Um, probably that's the goal. It's probably a portal or something. Oh god, it stopped. Okay, but, uh, okay, it gets it to like this kind of territory. It's like. Uh, god damn, whoever made the music for this game, it's like. Man, you just know how to hit the right notes, you know? No, and I haven't explored this underground. Holy fucking shit. Okay, so I can assume that this is the underworld part of it. Hmm, L uh, like, are you mixing Christianity? Because that might be Lilith. I don't know. Lilith, I don't know. It's just... who creepy. All right. Let's walk around and, uh... It, it, you know, one thing the developer needs to fix here, last recording, was, um, invisible walls. There are a bunch of invisible walls, walls that are on there, and I just like games where you can free roam, where you can, like, um, go anywhere and anything. Um, my guess is that since this is a moon or something, it's just a black, endless desert filled with weird signs, but... But seriously though, like, invisible walls, come on man, that's just, no, you don't do that, you don't do invisible walls in a game like this, in a game where journey, where, where it's basically a journey, a journey serene, a journey foretold across time and all that shit. But yeah. Hmm. I mean, I could cut this so that we could go for the travel time, but I just want you to take in the scenery. As I look around and, uh, like, this would be good shit for VR, mind you. Like, like, hell, it, 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 like, if they made a VR room and they made it like this, we would be, it, it would be a great romantic spot for couples who like to do this kind of shit. Who basically like to explore this kindred earth. No, please don't leave me, please don't leave me, please don't leave me. Okay, okay. Now all I have to do is just wait until they uh, until it goes up. Whoa, okay. And quiet wispy sky. And there it is. Picture of a Valkyrie. Hmm. God damn it, I can't I can't jump on the wall. No, 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 shit, land on the wall, land on the wall, land on the wall, land on the wall, land on the fucking wall, god damn it. Nah, I failed. Because, you know, I was planning to use the gravity of, um, I, I, I was planning to use the gravity of the situation in order to, uh, basically, uh, jump from here to that, uh, to the other place. Okay. Okay, let's try this again before we plop down into the ground like a fool, like a fucking farmer. Um, oh god damn it. Um, okay, so I guess I have to hit it when it's descending. Or I could just clear it like this, but. Okay, shit, god damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh well, I guess I'll probably never make it. Wait, no, I forget. Low gravity! Okay, 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 velocity, 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 god damn it! Mm. 
I love this game, but sometimes physics, man, physics. Oh well, I guess that could be reached for another day. When the game gets updated, because this thing is kind of like on a point two, a version point two. But seriously, the dev who made this, I commend you, man. I commend you. This is a game worth worth looking for uh, in Game Jolt. Like, really, it's good. So, uh, yeah. This is Celine, an exploration game where basically we s run around a ruined city from a from a jike from a moon. Like we explore a city, like a lunar city that was once prosperous but now ruined. And as I stare at this cube, I will say thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff from me, click the subscribe button, leave a like, and comment to give your opinion. I always love how my, uh, I always love to hear it because like it's a way of how I can improve this series, series and such, and you know, you know how I can improve from this channel in general. So, I'll see you in the next video. But till then, keep on shocking. Boop.